Welcome to Speaking About That. Alright, welcome back guys. Today we have the full squad here with Carter, with Ziada. And today we're going to speak about a very, um, I would say, deep topic. Uh, we're going to call it probably changes. So more specifically, <laughs> yes. more specifically, we're going to talk about um, how has uh, uni life changed you since uh, compared to when you were like uh, before you entered uni, like how has everything changed you like personality, appearance, lifestyle, health, you know, the mm. end. Yeah. So, so okay. Carter or Ziada oh. would like to I think go first. I, I guess, uh, I can start first, uh, I think. Okay. Um, so changes. Yes. I think, yeah, la, life, everything need changes, seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Because as our, I think from our first episode, we also like mental health, everything, like everyone's mm-hmm. life is totally different. Like, yes. how to make it better? You make the changes. Yes. How to make changes? Uh, um, Put yourself in a, comp- like, give yourself like the comp... I mean, use like comfortable way that you like mm-hmm. and step, step forward and make, just try to make the first step and uh, give yourself a change in your life. Mm-hmm. Probably mm-hmm. like you're now like facing quite a lot of problems, but everything which uh, we have a, a way to solve it. So mm-hmm. like just do the changes. Okay. For example, like if like health wise, you're like, mm-hmm. you're not, you're unfit or anything. You can do like work out change your lifestyle you then you you have a healthy lifestyle mm. then through probably like um um maybe like if for example like if uh personality like mm. your maybe like you feel like you don't have a lot of friends or what and what but you can make the changes you can do the, be the one who give up the first step and try to mm-hmm. like mm. change your lifestyle la. so like so example, if you're, I think I can start off with my, my story. Okay. So basically what I changed like throughout my life, I think it's because I am an introvert. Mm. I am like scared of like talking a lot. And also like, um, I don't, I can say I, I'm quite a shy person. Uh, I'm quite a shy person like since young. I think mm. one thing that affect me is I think it's because I'm the only child in my like my I see, family. I see. Uh, my, my, yeah. my family. Like probably I don't don't know how to share feelings, problems mm. with people. With people. So yeah. Yeah. I think that's one uh the changes I have now, I think is I'm I'm more open. Mm. I'm more open already. So it's not a it's, I, I can say like, it's something I'm very, very grateful that I changed because mm. like, it's kind of difficult. Uh. Now I think back, like if I stay who I am, like I don't try yep. to ask for help and yep, yep. just be quiet. It's kind of, it's not a good thing yes. to like, it's not healthy. Actually, it's not healthy. Like, mm. So now once I grow up, I think high school, yeah, um, I, I feel like I don't really like if I any have I have any problem, mm. I just like swallow it for myself. I just maybe like I'll just be sad for like a few hours, then I say, mm. Oh, I'll mm. just move on. So like since now I grow already through uni, mm. then like what I face through probably my lowest point in my life, then I feel like, oh, I must be brave to step out and make the changes to like mm, to talk more and ask for help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then yeah. the first time I step out of like like, like step forward to like, like talk more, I feel like, oh, it's really, really helpful to my life. Like there's people helping me already. There's people caring me already. But before that, I, I didn't say like no one care about me. Nah. Just like probably not much people know what I'm struggling with. Mm. But now if I like be open up, there's like people help me around probably with my, my man. Probably like with my person, my how do you say? Probably my my health, my personality. I think mm. most importantly, it helps with my mental health. Because understand, if understand. if I continue to like keep quiet, bad yeah. like negative stuff, I keep like uh keep it for myself. It 
I don't think it will be good lah for yeah, me like going up keep, until I think yeah I think until now it, it won't be a good thing for me. So yeah, that's the one big thing I changed in my life throughout until I think until now because we're still young. Mm-hmm. I, there's more improvement to yes, go. Yes, yes. But that's the true. big. That's the one big thing for me. I open up myself from not being too quiet anymore. Mm-hmm. I try to ask for help more, speak more. Then, so for now, I'm more happy. I'm more happy. That's the most important good, thing. Good. Yeah, that's, that's very good. That's, that's very good. Uh, that's yeah. the story about me. For my changes. I see, I see. So uh, besides that, uh, what do you think that you still want to improve? Still want to improve? Uh? Yeah. Is there any mm. anything that you still want to improve? Not satisfied with maybe? No, uh, I think it's yeah. my health. Uh. Health, health plays an important role in our life also. I think... Yes, true. <laughs> I think uh how to say uh my eating my eating habit during uni times is kind of bad. I then see. I'm not disciplined enough lah. The now I try, I try mm. to change my the way I eat, my okay. my diet, everything. Yeah, yep. uh, that's I think that's the thing I'm focusing kind of focus now, mm. my health. Yeah. So I hopefully hopefully in the future it will be better and better because I really don't want to get sick. Yeah. If, I want a happy life. I want a yes, healthy yes. life. Really, my health, I must take care. Yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. I am willing to like give my all to how do I change my my lifestyle, uh, my health, healthy lifestyle to give myself a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. That's very insightful. Of, uh, <laughs> very, very nice story that you shared with us. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, Ziada, would you like to share a little bit about yourself and like what you still want to improve? Hmm, yeah, sure. Uh, so maybe I will start with uh, saying that um, I would say since young until now, I have not changed a lot in the sense of like my personality or like uh, my abilities and all that. Hmm. And uh, not to brag, but like I've been trying my best in everything and kind of excelling in the things I do. So in that part, I just have to keep it going, you know, like just uh, keep on doing my best and achieve the best result that I can in anything I do, uh, including academic or sports or like extracurricular activities or even like external stuff and all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I would say, although things have not uh, changed in those sense, the biggest change that I can pinpoint for myself is uh, maybe my perception of the world or like my mm-hmm. perspective towards uh, things around me in life mm-hmm. and also my uh, goals. Yeah, I believe this will really apply to everyone of, uh, listening and also both of you guys, definitely. Mm-hmm. This is like something that you're definitely going to go through. Yeah. So for me particularly, maybe I can share that uh, for like my perception of, of uh, the world or like things or like my perspective towards them. Since young, because uh, I'm actually from Ipoh, Perak, so mm-hmm. it's not as advanced or as modern as like KL, such a big city. So uh, yeah, but I've always came to KL because Ipoh is not too far from KL. It's just two mm-hmm. hours drive away. So I've always visited KL as well. But you know, like you, when you never really lived in such a big city, you're not so used to the culture, although it's not too much of a difference, but like there's mm-hmm. still a slight difference, you know, that yes. it, it kind of shocked me when I just came to uni in KL, you know, mm. like uh, mm. getting to know friends uh, from KL itself and also other states rather than just like in my own uh, place, Ipoh. Mm. So the people around me, of course, I know I get to meet new people and then I mm. get to know new things. I get to experience new things. For example, like uh, entertainment wise, there's not so much entertainment back in Ipoh compared mm. to in KL, you know, when I just came to uni, lah, but uh, currently right now, 2021, uh, Ipoh is getting more and more popular with all that stuff. So maybe yeah. it does not apply right now, but yeah, during the phase when I just came to uni, it really applies to me. So uh, when I got to experience a lot of things and meet a lot of different people, my perspective and my perception all changed. And I got to be more mature about mm. how I look at things, mm. how I look at uh, relationships, friendships, and also like, you know, how to, how do you actually live your life? Maybe I would say back then, I would just be very innocent or like just, you know, I'm just going to live a fruitful life like normal mm-hmm. and uh, I don't want any drama and all that, you know, just simple, peaceful and all that. But when I came yeah. to KL, 
you got to I got to realize like there's different hardships, there's also maybe dramas or like mm -hmm. you know things that you really don't want to actually come across, but in the end, in reality, you you definitely come across it. So that was kind of the one of the biggest changes that I met. Uh, maybe I can't really elaborate any more because I think that kind of covers a lot. Mm. It mm -hmm. speaks for itself, I would say. Yep, yeah. Yep. So uh, regarding the, the other point that I was mentioning, uh, my goals. So definitely mm -hmm. because as I said, uh, I'm from a small family, rather small family. I just have mm -hmm. my parents and my younger brother. So it's just four of us. And uh, I've always been in my house. I never really went to anywhere else and all that. Never really seen the world that much and all that. So uh, my goal that time was, of course, you know, just to study hard, uh, get mm -hmm. good grades. Uh, my academic wise and curricular activity wise and all that and uh, I just knew that you know I had to do well in high school get a good passport and go to a good university and you know from then on uh, your past starts you know your future starts right there uh, mm -hmm. and you decide your own path you know maybe you want to do something related to your degree or who knows you can do some sort of business and all that and be mm -hmm. successful in life and mm -hmm. of course being successful in life, there's many definitions. So for myself, I would just tell myself, you know, sustainable job, sustainable income, and like just really peaceful and simple life. That was my thinking back then. Mm -hmm. When I came to KL, you know, as I said, meeting new people, uh, experiencing different things and mm -hmm. looking at different things, learning different things. And there's a lot of influence as well, be it yeah. positive or negative as well. It definitely changed my mindset a lot and of and my goals as well. So previously, as I said, my goals were just to just so simple to study hard, get good grades and all that. But right now, mm. it's totally different. You know, although in uni, I'm ought to get good grades as well. But, you know, it's more than that. It's like, like you need to maintain good relationships because, you know, good connections will bring yes, yes, you uh, yeah. further away and all yeah. that, you know, yeah. far from where you are right now. Mm -hmm. Making good friends will benefit you for life as well. You know, you have a good mm -hmm. company and all that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you if you learn proper things and all that, it might benefit you in your career life, your career path and all that. So a lot of extra things came into place and uh, that I had to take charge of. Yes. Yeah, you know, I myself, I told myself, I have to actually take charge of all these things. It's not that simple anymore. So mm -hmm. that adds up to my goals, you know, like my career goals, financial goals, especially, and then like my relationship goals, friendship goals and all that. So ultimately this life goal became life goals and it's mm -hmm. so much more than it previously yeah so i would mm -hmm. say that's like the biggest change that i have yeah mm -hmm. to I me see. that happened to me wow okay. mm -hmm. very okay. nice very insightful uh experience <laughs> and story that ziana <laughs> shared yeah. with us you know yeah. uh yeah. from a small town to kl it's not easy because yeah. because it's a yeah. uh, totally different culture like ziana said yeah um <clears throat> Yeah, uh, mm. I think I can like understand what Jada say because mm. myself yeah. also I'm from Sabah, like Tawau. Ah. It's even a even a small town also la, Like there's totally nothing. Mm -hmm. I can yep. say there's the entertainment there, like there's like building those that is totally less. It's very very less. Like different with KL. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it's totally different. It's, yeah. it's basically it's like a uh, forest. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no lah, but I still love love my hometown, of course. I still love my hometown. Mm. But Definitely. I think also like when I come, uh, came here to study, was I, I feel like because my hometown like because it's quite small mm. and the pace there, like the like the work life balance uh, and the yeah. pace there is yeah. more slower, it's lower. It's lower. There's it's a it's a bit chill. It's a bit ah, chill. Like okay. I think if you stay there, mm. like if you work there, la, um, mm -hmm. I think it will be like more com like com comfortable. Mm -hmm. And but mm -hmm. if you have a stable job, it, it will be very, very comfortable. But mm -hmm. if you want challenges, yeah, I don't think it's it's a suitable place for you guys. La. You, yeah. I mean like you once I come, uh, came here, right? Mm -hmm. I really f can feel the fast pace, everything mm -hmm. like everything. Time is yeah, money. Everything is fast. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. The time is the most yes. important thing yes. in our life. Mm -hmm. Once I came okay, So I also because I think <coughs> one of the things also like I don't take time like I take it for granted already. Like time. I really mm. like cherish all my time. Like all my time. I'm gonna like plan it out and use it like uh more how to say? I don't wanna waste much time. Uh. 
I want to do like more mm. meaningful stuff because time, even though you have like a lot of money, mm-hmm. seriously, we can't buy back the time, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yep. yeah, also, true, true. that's really once I came here, really my perspective about time really, really changed a lot also. Yeah. I see, I mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, okay. I think yep, Darren okay. is open. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to share uh, how have I changed since uh, uni versus uh, maybe when I was uh, in secondary school. So <clears throat> I would say uh I changed quite a lot in terms of every aspect. Uh mm-hmm. because uh during secondary school I was studying in uh boy all boys school. So uh in uni there's no such thing as all boys uni. So like uh you <laughs> you meet uh uh meet girls, you know, then uh I would say that kind of uh I'm sure it affected everyone that every guy would uh be more uh, I would say self conscious about their appearance, you know? Like you okay. uh take oh, time yeah. in how you dress, you not know, like uh you just chin chai put on t shirt or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah like mm-hmm. you yeah. tend to be more uh <clears throat> be more uh chill a bit. Not mm. uh, like very rough during uh with you know because you know with uh guys with your gang you were like uh whatever can say just no say, one to impress yeah well. yeah no one to impress so you just just blast it all out but in uni <laughs> you have to mind what you have to say you know be like a model yeah, yeah be be have to have have to be more matured a bit like I would say uh, I mean yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because everyone is like also like around your age everyone is also more matured so. I would say uh, yeah. I've changed a lot in terms of that. Like I've become more matured because like I have friends that talk to me uh, after five years like that and they say, wow, you changed a lot. You actually uh, can tell that you're very different now when you were younger. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so lifestyle wise and health, I would say uh, I think to, during 2017 or 18, I was quite uh I w- I'm not I would not say I'm fat but uh little bit not uh fit, not fit not yeah plump. not fit not fit uh little bit not plump fit, fit. so uh I decided you know just uh try this uh I decided mm. to lower down my weight la, to be more mm. uh more maybe I would say I don't know better looking fit or whatever <laughs> uh so uh I went from uh actually went from ninety kg to 70 yes Mm, yeah that's what i did uh, yeah because i like like, yeah it's not easy like it's it was a it was a very tough time i had to cut down a lot of junk food uh, those unhealthy food it was really not easy but i'm glad to say that after i did that i'm more uh confident more Mm. more uh, co- more confident of my appearance, you know, mm-hmm. like I, I'm there to go out and socialize more with uh other people, you know, like won't yeah. won't like shy shy like scared I uh, uh mm-hmm. not good looking or whatever, you know, no. yeah. Because mm-hmm. after I did that, really it boosted my confidence level mm-hmm. to a whole new level. I would say yeah. I felt that confidence. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's, that's uh good, that's, that's what I have changed. Um mm-hmm. and one thing I want to improve is uh maybe I want to be more uh matured. I mean okay. I I'm not I'm not saying I'm not mature, I just uh I think I can be better with uh by talking to friends about more serious things, you know, okay. because I feel that like I have not much knowledge on uh certain things you know like maybe uh uh stocks uh news all this so i feel like i want to improve in terms of that of this like more serious topics you know that you can talk with mm-hmm. maybe okay. older mm-hmm. people and yeah so that's what okay. i want to improve on yeah okay i have a question uh yes. to darren actually so yes speaking about that yeah speaking about that uh you were talking <laughs> about like your appearance and all that mm-hmm. so 
I'm actually curious, like, since you were so not comfortable of your appearance mm. or your weight, that's your mm. personal preference, mm. right? Your personal thinking. So mm. since you weren't happy about that, like, actually, was there any specific reason, like, uh, did anyone body shame you before or whatnot uh, of some sort? Okay, uh, actually, uh, no one body shamed me. I just felt like I have to, I don't know, I just looked at myself in the mirror and just like, my self-esteem is quite low so okay. yeah because uh i study in a boys school so i don't think like i think like we don't uh care so much but once we enter uni like i don't know uh something changed me i don't know i don't know if it's the society in mm. the uni or the culture but yeah so mm -hmm. i decided to change my appearance yeah so that's what mm. propelled me to change and th after that change i would my self-esteem and confidence was higher than uh, previously. Mm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. And also, I also want to say, like, uh, I mean, all you were saying, you the, the experience that you were sharing, it's mm. actually mm. to me, and I believe that we should also make it straight that it's like your own personal preference, your own personal yes, thinking yes. to yes. to tell you, that you're telling yourself that I am actually not happy. With yes. my current weight and my yeah. appearance, it's yeah. not that True. it's not that uh being fat is ugly or whatnot. You know, it's mm. just that you think about that yourself. Maybe, maybe you you could have been influenced by uh the society or yes. social media or whatnot. By, yeah. But social I mean media. that one, we, yeah, yeah. But honestly, I don't think we can change that fact that easily. So mm -hmm. we are being influenced, assuming that we have been influenced, and you know, at the end of the day, you just had that personal thought of telling yourself mm. that. I actually yeah. don't like how I look like now. I just want yeah. to make a change for myself. It's yeah. not that oh, I'm fat, means I'm ugly or whatnot. It's not yeah, that. No. Yeah. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. I think also like everyone, uh, our audience also, like if you want to make a change, I mean, if you want changes, mm. also you must know what's the thing you want to change and choose the the proper and good direction really. I mean, I, yep. I think mm. all changes, there's like no shortcut at all. Yes. Yes. That's like, it's all, hard work. It, it's all about consistency and yes. step by step. Yes. Every day, yeah. every day. I mean, because when you're used to it, the, with the changes, when you're used to it, like you keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. Mm. One day, surely, you, it will like, I mean, the, the changes you want to make, surely will happen to you. Yes. Just, be patient and be consistent. Be consistent, yes. Yeah, really be consistent. Then your dream will surely come true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, adding on to that, like how I reduced my weight was actually I was uh very I was where I I would say not every day I did the uh -huh. same thing, but I would say I was quite consistent. Okay. And after I mm. did that very hard change from that mm -hmm. means uh slimming down, mm -hmm. I the confidence really is a like your i don't know your brain or whatever suddenly like <laughs> tell you like you did it this very hard challenge you finally yeah. did it and yeah the confidence level you yeah. you gain is a whole new yeah. level it's like boom yeah. it's yes. like you suddenly what, become very happy and yeah yeah the, the few the feel good factor yes also the feel good factor yep. is very good, very high the feel good factor will, yeah because, be consistent oh, of course, because like when like as a human, when we imagine the changes, mm -hmm. we only just imagine in our mind. But yes. once we achieve it, yes. surely it feels it's, good. Yeah, it totally. really felt very good. Yeah. It, because like it's same as like getting good result and everything. Mm -hmm. Because yes, good result yes. also it like it involves like consistency. You study, you do like a lot of research. I think like I think life and everything. I think everything is almost the same. Like mm. it involves consistency, really. It mm. involves yeah. consistency that to to achieve the object objective perfectly, right? Mm. Yeah, mm. really. Yes, that's true. I forgot, forgot. I want to ask you, how long you you took to uh, like slim down? Uh, oh, I uh, like a very long time. Like, I think it was less than six months. If I, oh, I, think, I think that's remember good, correctly, think... it's not. Yeah, it's definitely less than six months. You wow. everything you everything you learn yourself is it? Uh yes. Everything no, no, I, no I didn't uh, I mean I did some or... light research, but 
mostly is uh I just experiment yeah, with that's myself. Good, that's, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. So after I achieved that, the feel good factor is definitely wow. Yeah. It's of out course, of this world. Yeah. Of course, yep. man. Yeah. It's it's your goal and you yes. achieve it. Yes. Right. It, it felt right. So so I think it's uh important to set goals in your life that you want to achieve because it makes your life very I would say very fun living, you know? Yeah. Like, the, yeah. like it's a motivation not just, also. Yeah, not just like uh yeah, it's a motivation, not like just uh I just wanna do whatever. Just, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, set goals in your life, then once you achieve it, wow, it's boom out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. from here, I wanna give a message to everyone. Yes. Because I want a headline in our listen up. <laughs> so what? So all our audience, hear this out. Changes mm. can be very, very scary and difficult. Mm. Yeah. But what's scarier is the fear that's stopping you to progress, to be a better person. So step out of your comfort zone. Give true, yourself true. a chance. Mm. Go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't mm. look back. Mm. To have a better life, yeah, just be open and go towards it and achieve that goal. Mm. To make your to make yourself yes. more happier. Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Give yourself an applause. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, don't to applause, applause. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um yeah. I think yeah, today's topic. Yeah. It, yes. I think all our audience really, really you guys can like think about it from mm. what we say. I think I know we are not like professional. Mm. But it it will I mean like what we say is really really it, it involves with every person. Yeah. Like, I know every person's life is different. Yeah, yeah your appearance, your personality. Yeah, yeah. But just try, try make the changes. It's difficult. Yeah. Surely it's difficult. It's scary, of course. Yes. But yeah. you must be open and step up and try yeah, to step out of your comfort zone. Happen. Be, yes, be it, brave. Just try to make it happen. Yes. There's nothing to worry. Just go for it, guys. And once okay. you step out of your comfort zone, you will yeah. achieve yeah. better yeah. things in life. Yeah. Definitely. Once you hit, hit the target and hit yes. your yeah. like you achieve your achievement, yes. You're gonna be so happy and yeah. and you're gonna be so confident and how to say you boost you will boost yeah. a lot of like a lot of I think like values for yourself also. Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. you'll definitely be a more positive person in life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, correct, correct. I would say, as you guys mentioned, like it's very important to set goals first because that's how you know what kind of changes you need or actually you do not need any change at all. For example, who knows? Mm. But mm. Uh, once you set your goals, you know what's new or like what has to be changed, what has to be replaced, then you will know what kind of changes to be made and then you will need to work for it, you know, work, mm. work towards that goal. Mm. So maybe this, as, as Carter mentioned in the quote, like changes, can be very very scary it's because this word is like very powerful it it mm. sounds like it involves a lot of lot of things mm. you know but mm. in fact it actually does as a uh, direct mentioned there's no shortcut you know it all requires yes. hard work and persistence yes. mm. and perseverance so i think uh, maybe a small advice to the audience like maybe you know break your your goals into smaller goals and then mm. each goal will require a smaller change so you know yes. achieve a small change every day so for example i just feel like you know, uh, being more productive today, you know, maybe pre uh, normally I'm not disciplined. So today I try to achieve a few more things. Then maybe I list mm, down yeah. my things and I, you know, try my very best to achieve. And any of the, at the end of the day, you know, I just tell myself like, oh, I've achieved uh, all my tasks today. I feel very productive. And that's a one step forward for me in my change. So slowly yes. be consistent as Carter mentioned towards the goal. And in the end, we would achieve the biggest change that we want to make in our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. All right, correct, correct. Good, Darren. Good. good. Oh. Anything you want to uh, add? Anything you want to add? Uh, not really. I think I really. just now I already uh said. Uh, yeah, I, I let think me your story is, Yeah, I think your story also very very inspiring. Like, okay. yeah, like uh, be consistent. Stay away your comfort zone. Don't just bubble up yourself. Go yeah. out and socialize. Go and uh go have fun in the world, you know. Yeah. Because be life, brave. 
You yeah, must have please. fun. Yeah. Don't just uh, yeah. don't be don't limit yourself. Be yes. brave. Yes. Yeah. And set goals for yourself. Set go yeah. little goals, and once you achieve that, wow, yeah. your self uh esteem, your confidence, instantly yes, boom. Correct, correct. You yeah. will be a better uh positive. <laughs> you have will you will have a more positive outlook in life, and yeah, life is so uh, good. Yeah, I think like changes also a lot lah. I mean, mm. everyone uh changes. There's like big big portion and small portion. Yes, you can choose yourself. Just yeah. Be comfy of yourself. What you want to change yep. first. True, true, yeah. true. There's no rushing. No one want to rush you. Just mm. be com- com- yep. comfortable with yourself. Just do what you want to do. And yep. just go for it, man. Go for it, guys. Yeah, just go, just for, go it. for it. Yeah, really. Just, just what, what our... What's, what this episode really want to... Uh, the message we want to give to everyone in this uh, episode is really just go for yeah, it. Yeah, just be go brave. for it. I, it's hard, <laughs> but just go for it. Yeah, don't be scared. So, yeah, don't be scared. So, okay. Yes. I think we're coming to the end to our this episode. Oh, okay. I think yeah. it's also a great session. Um, it was insightful session. Insightful. Uh, yeah. I hope all our audience, you guys can enjoy this episode. Like, yeah. also, we, ho- we also hope this episode, our topic really can inspire everyone. Yeah. Step by step, guys. Step by step. No rushing. Yes. No rushing. Yes. Just be happy. Yes. Man. Baby yeah. steps. Baby yeah. steps. Baby yeah. steps, guys. Yeah. So, Rome, okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Okay. okay. Well, applause yeah. for you. Applause for you. <laughs> applause for everyone. Applause. Applause. Yes. Cheering for all our Ooh. listeners. Yeah. Guys, to all our audience, thank you again for joining us for yep. this episode. Thank we'll you see for you guys again. again. We'll see you in the next one. Stay Bye, tuned. everyone. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to our podcast. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to tell us what other topics that you would like us to cover. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next one.